That was pretty great, boys. Let's keep her going. It's a father-son adventure today as John Paul Morris shares his hunt with Dad Johnny. Guiding them after a trophy bull elk is Double H Ranch Guide Josh Moeller. The 100,000-acre Torstenson Wildlife Center stretches between two mountain ranges and two parts of the Cibola National Forest in New Mexico. At a seven to 8,000 foot elevation, the ranch is a haven for elk, deer, pronghorn, and quail. The Morrises have decided to divide and conquer. So while John Paul and guide Moeller hunt their way around the ranch, Dad Johnny is scouting for a big bull to tell his son about. This place is ridiculous. Josh said last year their average bull was over 380 inches, which is just amazing. Nowhere else can you go and find that caliber elk. What's playing, Chief? I think would be a good setup right here if we can get them to come through here. We went up in there, we sat there for maybe an hour, and then sooner or later you could just hear way off in the distance, you know, you could just hear this faint bugle. Just got a little bit closer and a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Next thing you know, here he comes. Well, you know, he came in and it was perfect and everything, and I aimed for a little bit further distance than he really was, and it turns out I just clean missed it. So I'm upset that I missed it. I mean, a little rattled, but you know what? It turned out to be a good thing. We didn't wound him, and uh, we got to go hunt the next day. I didn't get to go with you guys yesterday afternoon. Did you have any luck? Did you see anything? Josh did a great job calling. We got a big monster bull came in. I was just and I got a little bit of bull fever. I missed him, so I gotta redeem myself this morning. That's all right, buddy, because your dad knows you're one of the best that's ever been. <laughs> we all have our off days. We'll make up for it now. Johnny Morris sets off on another scouting expedition while John Paul and guide Josh Moeller follow their plan to look for a thirsty elk around the watering holes and wallows though plans don't always work out. The hope of finding elk coming for a drink is washed away by a sudden fall thunderstorm. Because it's a case of water, water everywhere, they turn to calling to see if they can draw in an elk. And draw, they do, closer than they might have expected. I'm sitting there and Here's this beautiful, you know, rainbow, and I'm sitting up there not thinking there's any elk around. I'm taking a picture of this rainbow, and sure enough, next thing you know, here comes this fly bite. Here, here he comes. I'm, you know, I've got my pants down taking pictures of a rainbow, and here comes the elk. You know, I got spun around. This elk comes. He starts to come to one side of the tree and cuts back, and he is 10 feet from me. He's right on the other side of this tree. I could have spit on him but he walks right out. I mean, it was an awesome encounter. We were so close. And he couldn't have been more than 10 feet from me through this tree. It was awesome. And he finally kind of moves off. And sure enough, we hear a bugle up on top of the ridge. We look up and some cows start feeding across in the skyline and sure enough that big seven bite comes out. Man, what a bull. He was huge. Man, that's a pretty bull, isn't it? He fed across with his cows and then eventually moved off over the ridge. Never really got to put a move on him that night but we put him to bed. We figured we'd come back to try to put a move on him. Well, fortunately, my dad was gonna join us again this morning. 
Yesterday evening I left John, he sat up on a water hole and it was tearing me up the whole time because I knew he's going to get that bull and I wasn't going to be there for it. So this morning we went back to the same spot. And we saw this big bull. And we spotted him moving up a ridge away from us. They had spotted us, kind of blown it. But you know what? The double H has got a lot of big bulls, so we stuck with it. Josh uh, said we were going to move up the canyon some and do some listening for some more bugle. We worked in there, found a nice uh, valley to set up in, and started calling, and he answered us right away. Right there. Let's get set up. John, you set up in front of us there. I want to go back here and sit. John, he's down there to the left. He's 77 yards. He's coming right to us. He's a monster. smoked his butt. Oh man, that's awesome, John. Awesome, buddy. And that's a good shot. Good enough. It was pretty hard to miss. He was... <laughs> hey, I told him. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Heck, him Heck of a morning, buddy. Heck of a morning. Between last night and then this morning, man, we had three different bulls. I couldn't... I never got a look at this bull back here. Did you ever see him? No. I didn't see this bull either, but man, that's a heck of a, that was a heck of a bull. I saw him coming from all the way down, and he bugled two or three times. He's a nice so looking bull. Man, he's big. He's got big he's tops. Big. Yeah. I'm happy you got him. I'm thrilled, <laughs> but I would have been in the dumps if you got him and your old man wasn't here to range him in for you. You think you could have done it if I hadn't ranged him? For I don't know. Huh? I think I could have killed him with a spear, but thanks. <laughs> It's funny how things work out for the best because when he messed that one the other day, he was pretty down in the dumps and then fate worked out. You know, it couldn't have been any better for us to get to have more fun in the woods and right to the last minute hunting. And he got that bull and uh, it, it was a special time. Hey, guess what I see? Hey. <laughs> oh is, my gosh, look at that big. rack sticking up in the air. Boy, it's like <laughs> seeing what's under the Christmas tree going on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. King Kong oh, man. deal. You <laughs> made me nervous for a while. I knew you plowed him, but man, he's pretty, isn't he? Yeah. Beautiful. Way to go, bud. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. It's a nice bull. Man. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful place. Special memories, boys, we'll never forget. He's an old bull. An old bull taken by a young bull. <laughs> Guided by an old bull <laughs> to get him. Anyway, boys, that's a pretty happy, pretty happy deal, man. Very happy deal. Oh, yeah. You know, I couldn't be more lucky. I have, in my mind, the best dad there is. I mean, he's awesome. Calling this big bull in, being with my dad, it was just an awesome morning, and I wouldn't give anything for it. Well, I'm glad you were here. You really are? Yep. So you realize, don't you? you yep. Ah, buddy, you don't even know, but you will one of these days. <laughs>